Praise the Lord. Let us go to the throne of prayer. There is no other God that we can. And treat wherever we're at because of who he is. A God of mercy, love, and understanding. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we love you. We adore you. We thank you for being the God of glory the king that enters in and orchestrates his holiness, his angelic being to encompass our very presence as he comforts, lead and guide, instruct, correct, and make known the love and mercy that he has toward us. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, God. You are God of all seasons. Weather can't change who you are. Creation can never change your excellency nor your perfection. So we honor you because of who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to be coming from the writings of Isaiah. Chapter 25, 1 through 12. I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but I'm going to encourage you to read when you get it. And this particular passage out of Isaiah 25 is where the prophet Isaiah praises God for his past judgments, for future salvation and for his victory over their enemies. Isaiah 25, 1 through 12, describes a song of praise and thanksgiving to God for his salvation and victory over the enemies of his people. The passage can be divided into three main parts. Verses 1 through 5, in these verses, the prophet Isaiah praises God for his power and might, and for the way he has brought down the pride of Israel's enemy. He declares that God has turned their cities into ruins and that their fortresses are no longer able to. Isaiah expresses his confidence God will continue to defend and protect people, and he invites them to rejoice and be glad in their salvation. Verses six through nine, this section describes a great feast that God will prepare for his people on Mount Zion. Their feast will be a celebration of God's victory over their enemies and a time of rejoicing and feasting. The passage uses rich and vivid imagery to describe this feast, plentiful food, and wide, and the removal of the veil that separates the nations. Similar to the veil that was torn now at the cross. It allowed believers to go to the Holy of Holy, to the throne of grace, to the very presence of God. We don't have an intermediary that's humanity. We have an intercessor that's spiritual, he's a part of the Godhead. And so the veil has been torn down. We can go directly 
this veil that was torn down. And Isaiah 25 is go directly to God, the nations. There were no separation. Didn't have to have a ruler to operate on there. They had God to operate for them. Verses 10 through 12. In these verses, Isaiah turns his attention to the future prophesizes that God will destroy Moab, one of Israel's enemies. Moab is compared to Saul that is burned up in a field. And his people are described as being brought down to the dust. Despite their arrogance and pride, Moab will be humbled for God and brought to nothing. Overall, Isaiah 25, 1 through 12 is a song of praise giving to God for his salvation and victory over the enemies of his people with a strong message of hope, confidence in God's power and protection. The first verse we were to read, O oh Lord, I art my God, I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels are old, faithful, and true. Thy counsels, faithful and true, is the message of this life. Thy counsel are faithful and true. An admonition to keep our hope and confidence in the power and protection of a holy and righteous. For it is God that can humble all nations. It is God that none can withstand. It is God that we can go to the great I am. It is God that we can depend on and be assured that he can do exceedingly of all that we can ask or even think of according to the that worketh within us. The power that he places within us, he seals us with his righteousness and make known his will for our life. He is our and a glory is our God of creation, our intercessor, our redeemer, our strengthener, our comfort, great shepherd, our bishop. Our King of Glory, our Lawyer, our Doctor. He is all that we will ever need. He has assured us the great I Am can be to us whatever we need Him to be. He's our mighty. Strong tower, the anointed preacher that reveals his living word within our earthly vessels. He's the divine servant, the righteous king, everlasting father, the mighty God, Emmanuel, the only savior, our intercessor, our liberator, our lawgiver, our judge, illuminator, sin barrier and burden barrier. He is our wisdom, our discernment, our perseverance, our meekness, and our saving power. He is the Son of God, the light of the world, the uplifted Savior that sits at the right hand of the 
who has finished the work and will return. He is our water of life. The He's our divine teacher, the bread of life. He is even the defender of those who cannot for vengeance is mine. So we don't have to fight a bad that only he can fight. But we can follow our command and praise and worship, rejoice and obey as he fights for us. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. We can focus on the one who was impossible with humanity is only made possible with divinity. So we can focus on the divinity who can make it possible to win. We win through obedience. We win because we hold up a good same banner and we abide in him. In us. His precepts, statues, and wisdom is the sword that rightly divides, discerning and intent of all, manifesting knows, for he judges righteously. Faithful and true, his counsel shall stand for Faithful and true is thy counsel. The Lord of mercy, who is strong and mighty, Father, we thank you for being grateful in all of your works. Your faithful entry and your counsel stands for us. We worship and praise Comforted, peace and joy and righteousness in your spirit. Because we know who you are and all that you can do is nothing that you cannot do. So we rest on your provision, your heart, your covenant, your promises and protection. We praise your heavenly Father. Rejoice in because of who you are. Our kingdom is our righteousness. Vengeance is yours. And the adversary has me. Because we yield ourselves to you. Pleasing in your sight. So that you can continue to bless abundantly. Because of the obedience. If we walk up rightly before you, you will withhold no good thing. Because it is your desire that we be partakers of your goodness and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Great is your praise, faithfulness. Yes. New mercies I see. How many of you know thy hand of God has provided? How many of you know?
How many of you know? Yes. Some moon and stars yes. in their courses above join with all nature in manifold. To my grace, you'll never find your life. The peace that you can endow you passes all understanding of what we might encounter in life. He takes away the worries, so you are anxious for nothing. But through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you are allowing him to know your concern, your desires, your hope. Your expectation in heart, that his will may be manifested over your life. It is something to know that just his very presence changes the inner being, the peace, calm, yet wise as a day. Because you are trusting God. You're not trusting the things of the world. Because you understand they're temporary. You understand they go and And some things are just flotty, undependable, insipid. It lacks interest because of the connection you have with a holy and righteous man. The things of this world have been disrobed and you've been robed in the doctrine of God. You've been robed in the desire to please God. And so your interest is in the kingdom. All of us Yes, a holy and righteous God who's faithful. All I've ever needed, thy hands have provided. Never forget, his hands have provided. Yes. Yes, oh God, my Father, there's no shadow. I don't have to turn around. He changes me. His compassion, his loving kindness, his new mercy are new every day. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. Morning by morning. In mercies I receive. All I have needed. I hope has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord unto me. Yes. So springtime and harvest, some moon and stars in their courses above. So worthy. Join with all nature and magic. He frees you. To be able to acknowledge the freedom you have in Christ Jesus. Not a liberty to continue to do things that are not easy, but a liberty to please all the days of your life. You'll see his mercy. You'll see that all that you need is his hand for God. Yeah. Pardon for sin and 
pay your heel to me. Why will I? I've always been. Don't be concerned. I love you. I know all about the situation. And I'm here to comfort you. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, mercies I see, lie on me, my heart has over it, is thy faithfulness, is thy faithfulness, Oh, thank you, Mom. Lord, I Great is thy faith. Lord, unto me, thy counsel of faithfulness and truth. Hold on to his counsel that are faithfulness and truth. 